place called Joseph Smith Memorial Building. It's in Utah. We heard about this thing where you can go and buy a goat or a chicken, but it's not an actual goat or chicken. It's like a charity thing where you're helping people in the world. And so we wanted to check it out. So we're gonna show you guys everything about it right now, what's inside this vending machine. But the line is amazing. It's like clear back up the stairs. I All these think people that right many here. people wanted to buy a goat. And it's cool because it's like everybody's just doing stuff for charity. It's not yeah. for themselves. Yet they are spending money and time and waiting in a long line. I think it's a brilliant social media campaign by the Elias Church and Bonneville Communications. So yeah, we're gonna show you guys what's inside this vending machine. What do you think you want to buy? You don't even know what's in it, do you? I see chicken. Okay, let's see what we can find. So let's take a look at it. Five dollars for pacifiers, baby cap, water wipes, blood pressure cuff, ten dollars, first aid kit, a light. That's a cool light. Look at this, seventy-five dollars right there for one goat. Two pairs of school shoes for somebody. Life-saving medicine for somebody, fifty-five dollars. Chickens for twenty-five. Water filter for twenty-five. Nursing pads for fifteen. What's that? A poncho, emergency poncho, three bucks. And then a bunch of things down here, like a blanket, three dollars. So you buy all these things and you don't take it out. Basically, your stuff just falls down into the bottom and it has this big area with like everything down there and then the charity that's associated with it will go and make the donation or do it. What do you guys want? You saw what's in there. Goat. Lincoln wants a goat. Maybe a water filter thing and... Two pair of school shoes? Yeah, I don't know which one. But London, are you okay if we buy a goat for somebody? <laughs> okay, let's do it. Goat. We did it. We just bought a goat. We did. This is the first goat I've ever owned. I mean, ever bought. We don't really. Oh, it's the last one. No. Okay, let's get the shoes. It says some families not having a good pair of shoes prevents them from even going to school. Here we go. School shoes. Let's see a oh. Yeah, we got the chickens down. What else are you doing? I think we should do a water filter. All right, we are buying a water filter now. Going oh, crazy today, guys. Okay, twenty-five dollar. It's authorizing twenty-five dollar payment. Chickens, do you want chickens? All right, chickens, let's do it. Let's buy some chickens. We're buying some chickens. Oh, we all Claire. Yeah, good job, good. Claire. Is that good? good? Is that good? It's good. All right, we did it. Success, high five. Awesome. High five. Nice high five, yeah. London, high five. Yeah. So there is our successful purchase. Let's put up right here a list of everything that we bought because I already even forgot how many things we got. But that was super cool. Now let me show you the madness that is this place. How many people are in line to buy this stuff? It's pretty impressive. Look at all those people waiting in line to buy things for other people. There's the vending machines right there. Look at the line. Big old line of people waiting to buy stuff. And this has been like this all weekend, actually for the last few weeks. It gives me the chills right now thinking about the Christmas spirit and how generous people are to give. My guess is there's a lot of times where people would not give $75 to buy a goat, just on their own, like go online and do it. But the way that they did it with a vending machine and made it fun and interesting that you actually put your card in, buy it, you see it drop down, you get to choose the different things for charity. I would guess that they are getting a lot of donations, way more than they usually Get. Hopefully they do this again next year. So if you're watching this video and you're like, man, I really want to do that, but there's only one vending machine and it's in Salt Lake City, Utah. Stay tuned because we'll give an update. I'm pretty sure Light the World campaign is going to be doing this next year, going bigger, putting this in different places around maybe more than just Salt Lake City, Utah, but super cool campaign. <laughs> This is the prettiest place to see Christmas lights in Utah. I think the title of this video needs to be Watching Ice Pools of Fire. No, it's I go, I, I buy like goat. But you remember last year, this yes. same time, this same week, we did swimming in ice pools of fire video in Alaska. There was actually no fire. It was just really hot. This one actually has fire in the pool. Okay guys, wrap it up. 
We bought a goat, we bought some chickens, we got some shoes. We saw the lights. And we saw the lights. This is Lizzie, my hey. sister. Yeah, she's awesome. That was fun. That's a wrap up. Our Christmas tradition of going to Temple Wait, Square. Please. London didn't quite make it. She uh, was crying and had to go home, so Leslie took her home. And so hopefully next year London will do a little bit better, but when you're a little, little kid, sometimes days are long. So I understand. This little kid. Okay, close it out, baby. Close out the video. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool.